The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Today is a day that I think the American people are going to start turning, um, whether you whether they know it or not, uh, whether this administration cares to admit it or not. Today is the day that the um, uh, is the beginning of the end for so much of this administration. Um, yesterday, we had Janet Napolitano uh, tell us all kinds of things. We're going to get to that here in just a second. We have brand new information uh, but I've got to lay the groundwork on where we have been before we get to the new information at the top of the hour. If you have been following this information uh, on the Saudi terror connection and the White House uh, and their lies, we have some pretty significant pieces to add for you today uh, that I think you you need to be very well aware of. Um, uh, they have... Here's, here's the next shoe to drop from the blaze. We'll give it to you at the top of next hour. Um, but it, you guys heard it when we arrived on the ground here in New York City. Um, or actually, Stu, you weren't in the car when I, when I read it to, to uh, Pat. Am I overstating to say this is, this is much bigger than what we announced yeah, it's yeah. pretty significant. It is very, very significant, and it has to do, again, we told you um, at the beginning of this process that we have to lay out a case, and we have to take it piece by piece, and when they start to react, um, then we can, then we will um, take it to the next place. And uh, they reacted yesterday with uh, Secretary uh, Janet Napolitano, who you will... Uh, see, um, probably will um, w- may spend some jail time uh, for perjury. Um, that's my guess. She should spend jail time for perjury, um, but I don't believe that she will be our uh, our uh, Secretary of uh, Homeland Security. <laughs> wow, this is <laughs> kind of a big statement here. No, after this all plays out. Well, she's. It, it, what's interesting is, it's. Would you say that she's reacting the way that our sources have predicted she would react? Oh, uh, yes. And that's not good for her in the end because <laughs> she keeps walking herself into corners. Yes. Yeah. And we we know exactly how she's going to react. We know exactly how this administration is going to react. And I pray that they continue to react this way because they will eventually. Um, I believe. Um, they will undo absolutely everything that they think they have built. But they've built it on a house of cards. They have built it on a series of lies. And it's all coming undone. And today is the day that you will see it's all beginning to come undone. I would also add that the media is going to come undone in this. You know, when we... I left... um, uh, Washington, D.C. after 828. This was a couple of years ago, three years ago. And I got on the train and I had a meeting um, shortly before 828. And we didn't really say this out loud, but I said to my staff right after 828, the media is going to come undone. This is all going to come undone. And um, we can't be anywhere near it. We have to be outside of this system because it's going to come down. And it is coming down. I will tell you that, um, you know, we are we are working with some extraordinarily brave men and women in federal law enforcement community, as well as the federal government, that are risking not only their livelihoods, but at this point are risking their lives to bring the information to us. We are not the only agency or the only news outlet that these heroes have been in contact with. And yet this story is receiving almost no national media attention other than the blaze. I just want to put the other national media um, sources out um, and let them know that the blaze has been documenting who we speak to and um, who our sources have been speaking to. So we can document exactly who knew and when we have been told by several of our sources that uh, news reporters and writers from at least two, and this is disappointing, at least two major news organizations have actually been digging into the same information that we have provided, and they have filed stories for air only to have their respective managers kill the stories for no apparent reason. 
Uh, trust me when I say the reporters that I'm talking about are no slouches. They are some of the most knowledgeable and respected journalists in mainstream media today. And it begs the question, uh, as we get to the end of this story, uh, it begs the question when we release who knew, when, and what they what they did. And we'd have to ask, why was that spiked? Why did those media organizations decide to not run it. We are extraordinarily confident in the information that we are giving you, um, and not in an arrogant sort of way. We have shared a lot of this information with other media sources um, because we know we would much rather have them do it because, believe me, we know how we're being pilloried we know that uh, Sololinsky loves to isolate, and that's exactly what's happened to the Blaze. We knew that going in. I'm totally fine being isolated. I believe this is um, the blue dress. In the end, this is what will put those guys out of business and put us into business. Um, it is no different than what happened to Matt Drudge in the 1990s, and we know how that game uh, finished. This one's not going to end the same way, because this one is about today, we will show you. It's about a cover-up, which that's kind of Nixon stuff. It's about a cover-up. It's not about sex. It's not about anybody's private life. What this is about is covering up the ties to terror in our own country. And uh, Janet Napolitano is going to be the first to fall. If I was in a federal agency and I was uh, investigating the Boston terror, uh, I would uh, make sure that you weren't being set up because a, uh, a drowning man will pull everyone under. You better make sure they're not grabbing for you. I would suggest that you contact the Blaze or any other media outlet. <laughs> I don't know who else will report on it at this point. They all have too much to lose. They all are either cowards or they just trust the government. I've never seen anything like it before. Well, we have this information from the Blaze, but yes, we uh, we do. We we called the Department of Homeland Security, and they told us that's not true. Oh, <laughs> well, Woodward or Bernstein, which one is that? Uh, we heard there was a break-in, but we called the White House, and Nixon said no. <laughs> oh. That's exactly what it's like. It is what it's like. If 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 these guys were around for the Nixon uh, Watergate scandal. That's exactly what the tweet would say. Rich, and Richard Nixon would still be president yeah. today. The, the, He'd still the, uh, be president. Uh, probably not. Today, Pat, because he will. Well, no, constitutional because limitation. He death. wouldn't have been caught. He would not have been yeah, caught. There's the and he death thing. Continued to be president. The dead. He's you know, dead. He may not have he died without the scandal. Away. I, I, I think it think made him is... sicker than he. Okay, all right, we get it. I think that I, I think that the. Uh, the amazing thing is, is there are veteran journalists that have had their sport stories spiked. Um, there have been stories that have been placed and then pulled for no apparent reason. Um, and, some of these reporters are pissed, too. Uh, they, some of these poor reporters are extremely pissed. And may I just say, soon the Blaze will be hiring. Call me. We aren't in bed with the administration or anyone else that will tell you to shut up. If it's true, it's printed. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.